I'm Mark Lack, this is Business Rockstars. We're here to inspire, inform, and connect a community of entrepreneurs. Joining me right now is my dear friend and mentor, Mr. John Asaroff. Mr. Mark Lack. <laughs> the CEO of Neurogym. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Great to be on. So tell us about Neurogym. It's a company that I've benefited from. I've used sure. your products and services, but tell us about it. Well, a lot of people do exercises, you know, for their body. Well, yeah. Neurogym develops some cutting edge, leading ways to inner size your brain. There's uh, an enormous amount of research now that's showing us that there's a huge gap between what we choose and what we want to achieve consciously, we're making that choice, versus what our brain is doing beneath our level of awareness to prevent us from achieving those goals. You know, we've been conditioned with our beliefs and our values, but I don't think people realize how they can start to recondition mm -hmm. their beliefs, their values, and their thoughts. How can they do that? Sure, so think about uh, reconditioning as a renovation. You're born with about 85 billion little marbles, cells. Those marbles make connections. Those are called neural networks and patterns. The more those are reinforced, the more you have a cluster called a belief or a habit or a paradigm. So that is our map of reality as we were taught it and as we experienced it. But if you've ever looked at a map and then you've actually driven to where the, you know, the map is in the old days, the map was never the territory. It was a representation of the territory. Mm. So what happens is because we develop beliefs and habits and perceptions at a very, very young age through something called neuroplasticity, that brain switch actually goes off at around the age of 10 to 12 years old. Wow. And so by the time you're about 10 or 12 years old, you've already formulated much of the map. And so what you've got to do is go back to the map, create a couple of detours, and create new roads. Think of a new road, yeah. new road, right? <laughs> a new road in the brain. Yeah. So you create these new paths, and you can use visualization, meditation, yeah. um, subliminal programming. You can use um, uh, technology to access deeper levels of consciousness. This is a variety of different ways to access the power center that gives rise to consciousness. And I, I don't think most people realize how easy it actually can yeah. be because like I listen to your stuff all the time. You just put headphones in and it yeah. just starts to do the reconditioning for you. Well auditory is one way to do it. You can use it through visual or you can use it through behavior. So yeah. we've, we've mastered the art of making it easy and having people just put some headphones on, listen yeah. to one of the levels that we have yeah. and it focuses on tenacity, on, resol on resolve, on, on awareness, on uh, just an amazing array yeah. of beliefs that people need to have in order to succeed. How do we break this down practically for right. entrepreneurs? So first and foremost, whenever we have a goal that we want to achieve, that we haven't yet achieved, we are creating something known as neural dissonance, right? Is here's our knowledge, our skills, mm -hmm. our habits, our perceptions, and here's the goal that we have. It's away from us. And so the gap in between where we are and where we want to be is going to create what? Some doubt, some potential fear, some potential anxiety, some potential stress. Now the first thing to recognize is that is normal. And so what do we do with unpleasant emotions? We move away from them. So that's where the motivation actually shuts down. And so the first thing to do is become aware that whenever you are setting a goal that you don't yet know how to achieve, you have doubts because you don't have the skills or the knowledge, or you don't have the money, you don't have the certainty, you don't have the confidence, you're gonna feel this stress in the form of what we call is an unpleasant feeling. Mm -hmm. You can learn how to become aware of your thought patterns around what do you say to yourself. You can become aware of the sensation that your body is feeling. And then you can become aware of the actions you take or you don't take. So that's number one, is awareness is key first. The next thing to understand is when we are procrastinating, when we're not taking action, chances are is because we don't either have the knowledge or the skills on how to take action to feel mm -hmm. safe or we're procrastinating because of low self-worth and self-esteem, so we don't have the beliefs. But most people think that the power center is in the choosing the goal, and it's mm. not. Yeah. <laughs> so the key is to get out of the story, to be in observation, take your vision, your goal, and prime it into your non-conscious brain every day. How do you do that? Once you write down your goal, get some images that mm. represent you achieving that goal. Take your finger, 
you know, and run it across that goal every day. Why? Because the act of putting your finger on a piece of paper with words on it, as you're seeing it, as you're hearing yourself read it, as you're touching it, creates a stronger neural pattern. You do that 100, 200, 300, 500 times, all of a sudden your brain says, hey, I want to conserve energy here, right? You keep doing this and it's taking a lot yeah. of my brain power. I'm just going to make that automatic. I'm going to help you just discover what to think, how to feel, and what to do. So that becomes more <laughs> of a reality. But you have to get that image into mm. the non-conscious brain through repetition and a variety of different methodologies. Mm. You do that, and you will achieve success beyond your wildest imagination mm. because you start to realize that you're connected to everything and everyone and all the tools and all the resources that ever was or will be are already here. You have a lot more control than you actually believe. Correct. <laughs> so somebody says, I love this John Asraf guy. I love this neuroscience stuff. Yeah. Where can they learn more about you? One of the best things they could do is um, uh, we have an event you know, that happens on Saturday. And it's called Brainathon, and we bring in some of the world's leading brain experts mm -hmm. and psychology experts to help people just understand the right way versus the wrong way to set goals, how to master their mindset, how to mm -hmm. master their emotions, and uh, they can just go to yourbrainathon.com. Well, I've watched the last three Brainathons over the last three years, yeah. and I not only love the Brainathon, but I actually use the programs oh. that the Brainathon talks about. Phenomenal stuff, guys. Go to Say the websites again? Yourbrainathon.com. There it is, John. And also you can go to myneurogym.com. So there you, you go, know. guys. You heard it from the man himself. Thanks for coming on the show. Drop it like I stole it.